Lesson 9.1, Right Triangle Trigonometry. Our essential question, how do you evaluate trig functions of acute angles? Find unknown side lengths and angle measures of right triangles and use trig functions to solve real life problems. Standard 9.1, number four, using a calculator to solve right triangles. And we're asked to find the missing sides. This is not a special right triangle. Since it's not a special right triangle, that table won't help us, which means we have to use the calculator. So setting it up the same way. I still have my 28 degrees. This over here is going to be my opposite. The B is my adjacent and diagonal from the 90 degrees is always our hypotenuse. We're asked to find both A and C because both of those are missing. All we know is the adjacent B. So we need to split our paper into two sections because we have to solve for two variables. We have two different problems to do. So if I have my adjacent, and I want my opposite, opposite and adjacent is tangent. So I'm gonna use tangent of theta equals, tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So I have tangent of my 28 degrees equaling, my opposite is the A, my adjacent is 15. So I need to solve for A. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to multiply both sides by that 15. So I have 15 being multiplied by the tangent of 28 degrees equals my A. So now you need to type in tangent of 28 degrees on your calculator. And when I do that, I end up getting 0 0.531709. 15 times that entire number gives me 7.97564. So that is my value for A. Now, if you are following along and you type tangent 28 degrees onto your calculator and this is what you don't, and you don't get this, that means your calculator is not in degrees mode. That means your calculator is actually accidentally in radians. So you will need to verify or change the mode of your calculator. So if tangent 28 does not give you this, your calculator is in the wrong mode. Change your mode and then try again. So I know that A is 7.97564. So I know A, I know B, I now want C. So I'm gonna use adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse would have been cosine. So cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, where cosine of my theta is my 28 degrees, adjacent is 15, my hypotenuse is my missing C. So I wanna get C by itself. To get C by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides by C. So I have C times cosine of 28 degrees equaling 15. I'm gonna divide both sides by cosine of 28 degrees. So I get C to be 15 divided by cosine of 28 degrees. So on your calculator, type in cosine of 28 degrees. When I do that, I end up getting 0.882948. 15 divided by that gives me 16.9886. So that is my value for C. I now know A, I already knew B, and I now know C. I found everybody. So we were asked to find the missing sides. I know my hypotenuse is 25. This is going to be my opposite, and my adjacent is this missing Y value. So two missing sides, which means I need two problems. I have hypotenuse and I want my x, my opposite. So hypotenuse and opposite is sine. So sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So I have sine of my theta is 64 degrees. My opposite of x, my hypotenuse was 25. I want to know what x is. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by that 25. So 25 times sine of 64 degrees is x. So what is sine of 64 degrees? Sine of 64 degrees on my calculator is 0 0.898794. That multiplied by the 25 gives me 22.4699. And that is my missing x value, my opposite. Well now I need my adjacent, my y. So I'm gonna use hypotenuse and adjacent. Hypotenuse and adjacent is cosine. So this is cosine of theta equaling adjacent over hypotenuse. My missing theta is 64 degrees. 
the adjacent is the missing y, my hypotenuse is the 25. I want to get the y by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by that 25. So 25 times cosine of 64 degrees to be y. So what is cosine of 64 degrees? Typing in cosine of 64 onto your calculator, you get 0 0.438371. Multiplying that by 25, you get 10.9593 as my y value. Our next problem, I have one side length and I am missing these other two side lengths. So what are these? Here's the degree. So across from it would have been opposite. So this is my adjacent. Diagonal from the 90 is my hypotenuse. So I have my adjacent. I need to find both opposite and hypotenuse. So let's do adjacent and opposite first. Adjacent and opposite is tangent. So I'm looking for tangent of theta, which is opposite over adjacent. I have tangent of 47 degrees. The opposite of that was x. The adjacent is 12. So what is tangent of 47 degrees? So one x by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by that 12. So I have 12 times tangent of 47 degrees equaling x. So what is tangent of 47 degrees? That is 1.07237. Multiplying that by 12, I end up getting 12.8684. So that is my x value. Now I need my y, my hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So I have cosine of my theta, which is 47 degrees, equaling my adjacent over my missing y value. So I need to solve for y. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the y. So I have y times cosine of 47 degrees divide both sides by cosine of 47 degrees and y is 12 divided by cosine of 47 degrees. Well what is cosine of 47 degrees? That is actually 0 0.681998. 12 divided by that is 17.5954. So I'm missing y value is that. Last problem. I know my hypotenuse because that's diagonal from the 90 degrees. I am missing the y opposite side and the x adjacent side. So two missing sides, two problems. I know my hypotenuse, I want my adjacent. Adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So this is cosine of theta equaling adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of the theta is 18 degrees. My adjacent is x, my hypotenuse is 34. I want to solve for x. So we are going to multiply both sides by the 34. So I have 34 times the cosine of 18 degrees equaling x. What is cosine of 18? Cosine of 18 degrees is 0 0.951057. Multiplying that by 34, I get 32.3359, meaning my missing x value. So I have my adjacent now. Now it's the opposite. Opposite and hypotenuse would have been sine. So now I'm going to do sine of theta. And my theta is still the 18 degree angle. So sine of 18 degrees is my opposite over my hypotenuse. I need to multiply both sides by that 34. So I have 34 times sine of 18 degrees equaling that missing y. So what is sine of 18 degrees? Sine of 18 degrees is 0 0.309017. Multiplying that by the 34, I get 10.5066 as my missing y value. There are four problems left on the page for independent practice. Please do those.